Hello, welcome to this third and final episode of The Right Hand of Doom, a Solon Kane adventure. Maybe you've seen the first two episodes and this is the conclusion. So we are on chapter 9b, which is a scene, uh, and this time Solomon Cain is here, not just the virtues. So it's called Frozen with Fear. Let me read the introduction. In Redley's room, the window is wide open and the light streaming in illumines the room yet makes it seem to swim in a ghostly mist. The short, evil-visaged man huddles on the bed, frozen with fear at what is on the other side of his window. Kane's eyes follow his gaze to the window. On the sill squats what looks like a huge spider, and as Kane watches, it drops to the floor and begins to crawl toward the bed. The thing is broad and hairy and dark, and Kate notes that it had left the stain on the windowsill. It moves on five thick and curiously jointed legs and altogether has such an eerie appearance about it that Kane is spellbound for the moment. Now it reaches Redley's bed and clambers up the bed's step in a strange, clumsy sort of manner. The movement galvanizes Kane, who leaps forth with a hoarse battle cry swinging at the brute with his rapier. Okay, this time it's action. <laughs> it's action. So what do we have? We have 10 uh, darkness cards. Yeah. Yeah. So that's 10 virtue turn. We have three discovery cards that I'm going to read. So the first one is Sinister Speed. Solomon wasn't expecting that a hand could run and hide that fast. One time it would appear near the shelf, and another time under the bed. Solomon must stop it from reaching Redley. It's here. The hand is here. So the rule, the the special rule that we have is whenever the scout searches, move it one area towards male villager John Redley. Okay. So every time, uh, Antoine, that uh, we have a search by the scout, the scout is. The right hand of doom yes it will move toward red whenever whenever the right hand of doom enters the same area as john redley reveal d139 okay remains in play i'll leave it to you the d132 is deep focus Kane scars the room with utmost caution looking to anticipate the hand's next movement during this chapter, virtues may take explore tests from any area. So, Solomon Cain can explore. Right? Explore. We have uh, the result up to four. It's D133. Five or six is D134. And seven plus is D135. And for each progression token, the red token on this card, Solomon Cain gains plus one to all of his tests. So I don't know how we put these uh, progression tokens, but we shall uh, discover it with the uh, exploration uh, discovery cards. So this remains in play. Okay. And finally, the D136 is bringing down to the hand. Kane is ready to strike at any moment. He just needs a glimpse of the hand. So whenever the right hand of doom is in an area with light, Solomon King may immediately take a fight five test. And then we have the result uh, for uh, Solomon King. Fight up to 11 is D137. 12 or plus is D138. Okay. After the right hand of Doom activates, remove all light tokens from the board. And it will activate with the darkness. Uh, Keyword. Okay, what else do we have? Solomon Cain. Uh, we have the fight keyword. So just to remind people, when you have fight here on Solomon Cain is whenever Solomon Cain uh, is attacked. It's not when he attacks. It's when he's attacked. You you read the results here. So up to five, it's D one forty four. Ten to thirteen is D one forty three, and fourteen and plus is D142. 
Okay. So I suppose the right hand of Dooms at some point will be able to attack Solomon Key uh, when it's adjacent or on the same uh, area yeah. as uh, Solomon Key. Uh, uh, the right hand of Doom is Nemesis, so it reads red results and is a scout, so we know that mm -hmm. if it does a, a search, yeah. it'll move towards Redley. John Redley. And John Redley is simply a male villager. So the objectives is to defeat the right hand of doom. If we defeat the right hand of doom, we will place two uh, progress uh, purity points, yeah. which are yes. these tokens with a star. If John Redley is killed, we remove one uh, purity from point total. from the total. And if the result is two purity points, then we proceed to 10A, which should be a good uh, ending. <laughs> if we have one purity token, we proceed to 10B. And if we, if we have none, we'll proceed to 10C. We have 10 darkness. Let's get ready. Let's get started. Okay, let's, get started. So let's go. Let's start with the turn order. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think the first thing you should do is uh, get uh, Solomon Kane uh, actually inside the room and not just on the doorstep. So who can move? I can move for free because I can. I have intervention, which just need to move one for. But it costs one danger. Mm. Oh, it's maybe dangerous. But you also get. I, yeah, I could also use gumption to move one, but I don't have to do dice right now to use it. Because we absolutely need to move first. Well, right? You could always uh, return this. Down. No, no, he, you can't. No. You can't flip. You can only, only flip, flip the, the ones that you roll. You just roll. Yeah, right, right. Reserve right. ones. So. Maybe it's safer to move first, or maybe we could try exploration immediately. It's up to you guys. What do you think? I, I mean, if uh, if we get to fight the uh, the hand when it's uh, in the light, and if we know the hand is going to attack John Ridley, uh, its path would be here or here. here. And if it has two choices, we can either put it here or here. Yeah. We'll probably make it closer to us so yeah. that we can locate it or attack it yeah i can explore too yeah i don't know if you want me to move first and then wait for three turns so i can explore but you can explore too what is the priority is it to explore or is it to move first what would you say uh, explore you think explore? I would say explore what would you say i would say move what would you say uh... i would tend towards move too what would you do not against you Sabri. <laughs> if I say explore, then we're in trouble, right? Then we just pop, I just leave. <laughs> no, because, you know, you two say we should move first. She says we should explore first. Or we could move if you'd like. <laughs> I don't know. Let's not move, then it's just move. Well, you already have two dice, so I would really let you go first. But I won't be able to. You will see approach. what you can do, right? But if you can, you, yeah. can, you should I move. Guess. And I, mean, I think in every case I shouldn't go first, just in case the hand moves close enough so I can attack it. Yeah. So I take first? Yeah. Yeah, I think. So you move, mm -hmm. then we should try and explore. So maybe you should go second. Also, I can play any card from the discard pile of anyone. So if you have a fight or a... Oh, let's uh, have a game uh, Explore or something. Or I have placed all virtues on the board. Which would be crazy. So I could play it for oh. I could play it for two. Oh. Which would be insane. Yeah. Th that could be absolutely bonkers. So you should you want you wanna take the second then? Yeah, just take the second. Uh Maybe I could play last, just to make sure yeah. I can attack. Because the hand will have moved everything it could. Okay. Honestly. Okay, so go. I'll 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 play third and you'll play fourth. Okay. So go ahead, so let's begin. Okay, I have so can you two move? bravery, nomination, um... Yes, you can move. I can move. Okay. I just flip. Flip. Uh, and pain. will you be able to explore uh, to explore for that? Mm, yes. Oh! oh. Well, that's... That's it. That's, that's a great. perfect first turn. Yeah, that's okay. really good. Okay. okay, so you move. So you move what? here. You move yeah. here. And I explore uh, with base of one. Yeah. Do we have bonus. any bonuses? No, no bonus. bonus. And so we want uh, a final result of seven plus I or five it. or six. So what is the first total? We have one. One. Just one? one. Yeah, just one. Plus five. 
So we're at six. So it's D. One thirty-four. A blitz. Kane pinpoints the hand's whereabouts and carefully approaches with his rapier draw. Uh, we have an instant effect. Place one light into any area within Solomon Kane's surroundings. So surroundings is either his yeah. area or the yes. adjacent one. That's why we wanted to move because but, now we can place light, for example. But just one. Right here. Here. Yeah. If the hand, hand moves. So, so moving first is a good idea. Yeah. If the hand moves this turn. We can have it move here and then attack immediately with a, a force of fire. Yeah. Which is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Now is uh, Darkness Stone. Darkness yeah. Stone. Did you... Wait, oh, do you want to oh, discard any card? This um, Ah, it can be useful, Explore 5. Explore 5 could be useful, I think. I don't think we... I mean, if she uses Explore 5, but she gets a good result. Or... Or die. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be difficult. If she uses Explore 5, and so she almost instantly wins the exploration, mm -hmm. and we gain plus one to all tests. That's the same as me getting plus one for combat. Yeah, it's true. So, basically, I think it's better to keep the card right now. Okay. And do you want to discard the other one so you she can counts. replace it? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's the end of your turn. You can discard mm -hmm. any card. The discard is very good. I can resolve a card from the, the cards. From yeah. the hands of a virtue with no cost. Same thing. It costs, it costs a lot. A lot. Three th so, oh, that's way too much. Yeah, three faith I mean, and one. You're still gonna discard and it and replace the, it with a cheaper yeah, card to play. Oh, yes. I have the benediction. Benediction is two faith and you draw two blessing and you place yeah. one. Don't forget to draw a card. Oh, yes. uh, one scout searches. Uh, that's that's the hand. The that's hand. The hand. It searches, so it moves one Tall closer. So you either here or here. Let's move it into the light, no. please. <laughs> please do. You sure? Yes. Okay. And Trust. also, one shadow moves to engage. Oh, how, how many moves? How many? One, one to so engage. I would say we move it here so it doesn't affect uh, Solomon. Oh, yeah. yeah. True. 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 So we have some uh, here. Some but, oh no! It has to move to the. Oh right. Yeah, but it's uh, a spear. Yeah. Oh, it has it's to a Solomon. Yeah, yeah it has to be Well, wait, wait. We do it in which order? Is it this one first? Yes. It's, it's so it's, first. it searches. It moves here, and when it so enters the light, we can attack right now. before yeah. Yeah. Uh, before so the. We fight right it. now. Okay. Yeah. So, so whenever the right hand of Doom is in an area with light, which is the case, so Solomon can okay. immediately take a five-five test. Okay. okay, so, okay. so what is the bonus? Five, five plus one five. thanks to our strength. So six, six plus, plus plus whatever comes up. Three. It's a three, so that's a nine. nine. Do we get up to any... eleven is D one thirty seven. Okay. Nothing. So we miss. We need we need at least twelve. Alright, so really let's hard. see what's okay. what does the card say? One thirty seven. Missed. <laughs> Kane attacks, splitting a small stool in two. But the hand skitters off. He missed. This is uh, minus, minus one, one clarity. Uh, yes. mm. that minus one. Oh. Move the right hand of Doom one area away from Solomon Kane. So let's get it back into the corner. Yeah. And place one progression token on D132. Oh, that's a oh, Now we have plus one to all our. Yeah, tests. so it cancels out the, the clarity. clarity. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but the more we fight the hand, the more easily we hit it. Yeah. Yes, but we don't want to have a zero clarity. Yeah. Okay, so the token is yeah. discarded. Because, because, because it's activated. It's activated. And now we keep on the darkness card. So this one yeah. moves one to engage. To engage. Just one. Yeah. So it's not enough to engage us. So and is there any spawn? Uh, in Z. 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 Which is here. Uh, it's here. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. It's not good at all. <laughs> oh, I need a virtue. Turn one is over. It's so your turn. Turn, turn two. One. I need the exact two. And that's good. Yep, you can flip yep. one to get it. No, I could also use that. Or you, you can keep it. You can keep the faith, yeah. Or give it. So or I could uh, use it to play support to give a, an exploration light. Yeah, true. So, reconciliation. So, what do you do? You put one light? So, uh, first. First. What would you do first? I use reconciliation on you so you can play equilibrium. equilibrium. So every virtue 
enters the board. Oh. Okay, so where do we place it? Uh, so I think uh, we should have um, one on Solomon. One on Solomon Kane. That would be the least useful to us. Right I have now. a bonus of talk. I don't think we need to talk yeah. here. So so, uh, uh, so it would explode first. Yes. And then have the other surround him. So, so one on the bed. Yeah, with, uh, one on him. the bed. I think we want to keep courage at the back. So yeah, and we keep explorer too. So explorer too. Oh yeah, uh, because, because yeah, here. for the for the yeah for the explorer. Yeah. Uh, here you don't get the aura here. Oh, oh do you? Oh, yes, 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 you do. do. Okay. Oh yeah, because now we'll have better chances. Uh, spider. Oh, yeah, yeah. And... spider plus two. Yeah, and explorer. And do we do we add uh, shadows? Yes, to be up to four. Yeah. Okay, X, Y, Z, and X. So the first one in X. Which is here. So how X many? X and Y. And, and that's it. That's, it. that's four shadows. Yeah. That's very good. That's very good. So now we get all, <laughs> all the aura <laughs> points. Suddenly, the immortals are very, very present in this uh, <laughs> room. Look at how many. Eight immortal in this room. And then I'll give uh, my support to. Uh, I think I'll give it to the exploration die yep, that makes to cancel the exploratory. Yeah. Darkness. Darkness falls across the land. Well, two scouts each move one west, so it doesn't okay. matter. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the closest shadow moves two to engage. Furthest, right? Yeah. The closest is this one. To yeah. engage? Yeah. Moves two to engage. So one, two, it doesn't engage. Yeah. So justice is destroyed and both. But not destroyed. It, it is. I, and this I one is removed into it. the shadows. Yeah. Exactly. And this one is removed as well from the shop. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All adjacent. So, yes, we, we got rid of two shadows and only got rid of one virtue, okay. which is a good Yeah, thing. it's a good trade. We still have three on the board. Yeah. Do we have a spawn? And there's a spawn in Z. Oh, too bad. So it's my turn. All right. So, what so don't forget do we we have the bonus of all the ore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get plus two to basically everything. Yeah. Uh, also, you have to don't forget one reroll and flip. Oh, I could reroll um, two yeah. or yeah. flip two instead of one. To prudence, yeah. So what do we want to do? Explore. Explore. Yeah. Oh, that's good. You. Yeah, you could. Can do it. Yes, I can do it. Faith. Yeah. Yes, thanks to the faith. Uh, do we need to do anything? And else? you need a third. You need a third die. Yeah, you need a third die to activate the explore. Since it, since it's not oh, your. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I'm gonna give the fourth player a dice. I'll just, just take this I here. Pay, then. Plus one dice more yeah. because it's on your. Yeah. So now you have a. You can explore two. with two plus. Plus two. Two, so four. Minus one. Minus one. Plus one. So four. Four. And the card. And the card. Is that it? I think okay. that's it. Yeah. Four, nine. So that's the best results. And it's the same. No, it was yeah. seven plus. Seven. Oh, yeah. It's nine. the best result. D135. Cornered horror. Kane seems to have the horrific hand cornered and anticipates its next move with his rapier drawn and ready to pounce. So instant effect, place two lights into two different areas within Solomon Kane's surroundings. Oh, can we can place two here? lights. Can we place a light in Redley's area to protect it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. So I'd say uh, one on the bed and one here. Yeah, yeah I see. Most sense. Okay. Uh, so we're going to wait for the hand to do something, right? Yeah. So please move. Die. It's not in range of Solomon, so two scouts each move one south. It isn't even in Reddy's area. So no, no, can count. It can't, yeah. so it doesn't activate at all. Yeah. Oh. Wait, it doesn't activate. So we keep the light on the floor. Like yeah. Yeah. Since so it doesn't move, so it doesn't great. play. Like it can't activate. That's really good. Uh, and the closest shadow moves one to threaten. This one? It would have to move into Prudence's area, I think. Oh no, no, yeah. just, it's, okay. it's... Oh no, 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 no it can't no. move here. Oh, no. There's no adjacent. Sure, so it has to go here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because it can't move into the yeah. area. Yeah. It, it can go around, so it do it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. It will be like that. Yeah. It, it will avoid like entering a virtues uh, area if there is room yeah. to move it around. Okay. Oh, and also, oh, I forgot about that one. Uh, it moves two to engage. The furthest one? Yeah, here, the fast one. It's two to engage. Okay. So, what do we do? That's a lot of faith. Faith, faith, and uh, pain. Can you really attack the hand, or it's only when the hand enters the life that you can? That's a good question. I don't think you can, because when you look at here, there's no fight. It's uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no uh, fight yeah. work. You, can you, really, you, you cannot, you, cannot, you don't see it. Yeah, so, it's only when it's uh, um, in the... So giving me light was... I think... think well, you should move the virtue. I think it's a good... Yeah, you can move the virtue in the path of the shadow. Yeah, so I'll use one faith and one pain. I think getting one in Solomon's area Mary is, is the, the right play. Yeah. yeah. So would it be courage then? Um, I would. I would keep courage. Because the test to fight is really, really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So this one, yes. It's easier to get at least one light than it is to kill the hand. Yes. So to have the the courage, courage is whole. Bonus. Yes. Yeah. Is really nice. Like move temperance into a Solomon. Yes. I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right. so over here. And I still have three dice remaining, and I still have my two rerolls and flips. I think. Yes, you still have them. So I think I should keep the, the faith and the bravery. Because if I keep those, I can try to use conviction. Which is the, no, I can't use fight, fight! <laughs> okay. I'll get used to it. Uh, maybe maybe you, you can try to get uh, that. Opportunity to gain two luck. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it might, it yeah. Might come in handy. Oh yes, uh, <laughs> yes, because we want high results. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So I'll keep the faith and the bravery, most likely. And well, the bravery won't be of any use. But... Oh, that's not the bravery. Yeah, that's the pain. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that's basically that's the end it. of my turn. Yeah. So can you give away? So, do you want to discard any card? Do you want to discard your right hand to put some lights on? Oh, I should well, put some light on the exploration, honestly. Exploration? I think so, yeah. 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 I think yeah, I should figure that, yeah. So gain one light. So now you have exploration three. Yeah, that way I have I can gain some luck and fight five. And I can <laughs> go two extra cards. And now is... Oh, uh, now City is back. The dark Remove all shadows from play. <laughs> the darkness. And also if you... Have it in your hand. I could use uh, altruism to get Which to could visit save the day. I must say, just removing all shadows from play would be really good. Okay, so two scouts each move one south. It still doesn't activate. It still doesn't move. Let no me search, move. right? No search. No search. Um, the closest shadow moves two to engage. Okay, this one can. Yeah, it's either this one or this one. But it will be the same. So, one, two. two and I have to explode. Yeah, you have to explode. Yeah. And then uh, the farthest shadow moves two to threaten. It's this one. Yeah. Those are here and here. Yeah. And then there's a it's spawn in, in Z. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> it's getting uh, hard. Stressful. Please move, hand. All right. You go first because you can move easily. Yep. Like this. And then explore. And explore. Yeah. Use uh, her dice to. So you can, you can go first. Yep. Sure. And Wait. I... Maybe can we even corner the hand? Because like, if we put light here and here, and we push it back by missing the attack, can we push it back into another light? Of course we can. Yeah. So we could chain attack the hand. Yes. Yes, we can do that. Yep. Uh huh. And it wouldn't have activated because it's not a movement uh, decided by darkness. So, so we keep all the light, the light keep us okay. up. So we can try to combo the hand. Yeah. Okay. So um, you play first, the second. Wait, you can still donate me some dice. I'd, I'd, li like, I'd like to go second, maybe. Well, exploration is very important, isn't yeah. it? If you want to corner the hand, yeah. So maybe one, I would say second, so you move courage. Yeah. And I go third. Yeah. All right. Let's try it. Well, let's go. So. A lot of faith. Faith, faith, and faith. Okay. So I can't use the inspiration. 
But you can re-roll. Should I roll both face? Um, a pain of faith? Well, you could do one at a time and yeah, see I what happens. I hope face first, because I don't need it. It's a pain. You can re-roll it. Again, yes. It's not a pain. <sighs> I fail. Huh, okay. Does that do anything for us? Uh, it does. I have the whole faith. It does not help at all. At all. At all. At all. At all. I can get two luck, actually. I can use one faith as a uh, fear. Yeah. I can use the pain yeah. and use another fear. Yeah. 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 Still, it's still good. I think that's the best thing to do. And, and then, then I can use anticipation to move courage here. Okay. So we can yeah. keep the aura in every situation. Yeah. I think that's the best course of action. So I use two faiths and a pain to use fortunity, so we gain two luck. Finally, using the cloud. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then the last two faiths. The last two faiths go into anticipation. To move courage. courage up here onto the table. Okay. All right. There we go. And I'll just gain. I don't see it. We're at the mercy of the shadows. You need to yeah. wait. Uh, um, I should have just discard conviction. You should. Rather than discarding it, I just give some light to prudence to move more virtues. I think that makes sense. Mm. I yeah. So gain some light, yeah. which is better than nothing. I get you. Then I can replace and draw two. Now, like no. and inspiration for the bravery. Okay. Darkness. Uh, the northernmost scout moves to south. Me. Yeah. It still doesn't move then. It doesn't search. No. It's, it's crazy actually. <laughs> and uh, the easternmost scout moves to west. So it can move one. And it activated this time. Search removes the exploration. Uh, like it. just, that's really not good. And then uh, the farthest shadow moves through to threaten. It would be this one. Right now. Yeah, so it, it moves through here. And that's it. Okay, that's bad. And a uh, spawn in X, but there's already four shadows yeah. uh, on the board. So nothing happens. So your turn. My turn. It's typical. Yeah, yeah, we need a speedrun of him. Only three die. You can, you, you, can you can explore. explore. Yeah, you can I explore. can explore. Which is uh, I can also use uh, altruism to resolve any available action of any virtue for free. Did you know about audacity, which removes Why? all shadows from play? So I could either remove all shadows from play to clear up the board, or I could use your explore, uh, explore five. If I I managed to put a light here and a here. Yeah. We can have yeah. the hand enter. Yeah. And if we fail, it moves here. We can try again. It moves here. Yeah. And we, we get some back yeah. sometimes for really. Okay. We can buy some time. So I think you should use the. the I think I should uh, use altruism to explore five. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Explore five. Yeah. I use this card for free, and it's not discarded. Oh, that's nice. So. Here. Explore five. Here. Minus no, what is the bonus? Minus, minus, one. minus one clarity. Minus one. That's four. Yeah, plus, plus one is the progression. Plus, plus yeah. one is five and the card. Yes, but we have him here. Uh, oh, yeah. Minus so four. So four plus the card. And do we have any bonus or the bonus from. Mm. Uh... No, we don't have any auras anymore. Not, not the exploration aura. So plus four plus. Four. Four. It's four. Eight. Eight. I think that's good. Yeah, it's seven good. plus. Yeah. yeah, so we get to put two, uh, two light, two light counters. Yeah, we get to place two lights. So most likely on the bed and two bed this area. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. And yeah. Yes. yeah. I think that's that's the yeah. best course of action. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the better. And we keep the the fight aura too for both those chicks. Yes. Uh, in uh, proximity of someone came are shadows, but shadows don't move right now. Two scouts each move one east. East, it moves back. Oh no. Oh no. It moves back and it removes the light tokens. And there's no search, right? No. Yeah. Like it's uh, searches, but only in proximity of someone came. So it does not. Oh, yeah. This is why maybe we should. Uh, I think right now get closer. Can, I think now we can afford to move. If yeah. we manage to. But the closest shadow moves to to engage. So the closest one would be. Yeah, this yeah. one. Well, 
Can't we decide that it's this one so we can remove this one? No, because it has to go around since it can. Uh, it cannot okay. go through the inventory if it has another chest. So, oh. so we we have to eat we have to get a, an event Tent. and it's removed from play, right? Uh, yeah. Draining miasma. Minus one clarity unless the temperance miniature is on the board. So which it is not. So it's related to two, oh, that's really bad. Remove one light. Uh, I can lose I mine. Can, no, I lose mine. No, mine doesn't do anything. Okay. Go ahead. I don't lose mine. And then the farthest shadow moves three to threaten. To threaten, so it goes right behind. Is it this one? No, the farthest is the one over there. So it goes between the, the immortal. It moves two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Mm. Wow! So I'm losing that. This is not good. No. I'm getting a uh, in... Okay, Severin, that's your turn. Yes, let's roll the dice. Okay, so one faith, one bravery, and one pain. Not bad. With this, I could explore. Oh, which is great. Um, and you have uh, one pain, or it could be a uh, determination. And also, oh, don't, don't forget you get two rerolls. Thanks to re Prudence, yeah. because Prudence yeah. is on the board, absolutely. So, so first, can um, you use any pain you know? Uh, you know what? Maybe what I would like to do, if it's my turn, is to explore again. So I would try, I would rather have one of those two. Okay, so, so I think you should re-roll re -roll. it. Yeah. Yeah. I re-rolled? Yeah, okay. yeah, that's, uh, okay, that's good. perfect. You can keep this one. Yeah, yeah. you good. donate it to me, I keep it. Yeah, good. And let's so, explore. Yeah, try yeah. explore. So we have three. Minus, minus one. one. two. Because of clarity. Yeah. yeah. And minus two because minus of the adjacent two. shadows. So yeah. that's zero. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's just... Zero plus... Zero plus... <laughs> Five. Okay, that's five. It's exactly five, so we should get the light tokens. One hundred and thirty-four. A glimpse. Kane pinpoints the hand's whereabouts and carefully approaches with his rapier drawn. So we have an instant effect. Place one light into any area within Solomon Kane's surroundings, which is his area or the adjacent areas. So that's pretty good. Uh, where should we put it? I think we have to put it in Redley's area, right? In Re John Redley's yeah. area. Well, we don't know how the hand is going to move, but yeah, eventually it will move to... Okay, so let's that put it good. here, yeah. Okay. I think it's, it's good. That's so that's place. pretty good, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you have anything else you can do? I don't I, think I, so. Yeah, you could, you could uh, discard your cards yeah. and replace them if you wanted. I could also discard my right, right hand, hand, so to place a light somewhere. Somewhere. Uh, do we really need any more light? Mm. I don't think we do. No. Um, well, what if uh, the shadows enter uh, Solomon Kane's area? Then we might have to lose some light. To lose some light. So, so it's light always good to have a pool of light. Yeah, so maybe yeah. we should give one to either me or Leo, just for safety. Yeah. Then. Just as a pool yeah. of light uh, that we can yeah. just discard yeah. if necessary. So, so let's add one light. Just take it here. Yeah. yeah. To talk. Mm -hmm. So I can talk. I'm not sure we're going to use that. Talk to the hand. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And now... And you draw. And I draw a card. Is okay, let's darkness. see what darkness says. So... One scout searches. So it moves towards Redley. So it moves towards Redley. So searching, is that it? Yes? Yes, yes. yes. Searches, it moves towards Redley. Oh, wow. Completely without that light. Okay, perfect. So it enters an area with a light, which means we can... Fight it. Instantly, someone can, can instantly fight it. So we have uh, a strength of five since it's in the lights. Five. And then he we takes apply, a fight. And then we apply the bonuses. So we have plus one strength with our six plus stats. Plus two with courageous aura. Eight. Minus two with the shadows. Six. Six. Plus, plus one. Because of seven. the uh, uh, expo no, how is it called? Uh, the the progression. Progression token, yes. Yeah. So that's a strength of seven. Seven and we need 12 plus. We need 12 plus. Yeah. So, okay. 
So if we draw five... <laughs> we might do it. We might do it. Okay. Okay. Let's see. And we have a... Oh, yeah. yeah we, have we have the luck. Kind of so we can... Yeah, we can redraw. Yeah. Redraw. We can redraw if, if need be. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> You're ready? Yes. Go for it. <laughs> what is it? Wouldn't you like to know? I really want to know. Come on. We all want to know. It's a five. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Five means D uh, 138. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. D138 is skewered. Solomon skewers the hand on his blade and throws it in the fireplace. So actually he's doing exactly this. So it was all leading to this. <laughs> uh, the right hand of doom is defeated. Yes. We did it. We Finally. place two, um, what's the purity name, uh, purity points here. Yeah, two purity points. And we have, uh, we go to the end of the chapter immediately. So, end of chapter says, proceed to, well, the, the result is two purity points. Proceed to 10A. So you fairly safe ready there. All right. the final chapter, so let's read it. Vengeance denied. King giggly thrust his rapier point through the thing and lifts it to his eyes. He stands gazing at the hideous relic as the tavern keeper joins him, clad in his nightshirt, candle in one hand and blunderbuss in the other. He reels back and sinks into a chair. God's name, sir, he gasps. Let that thing not live. There be a fire in the tap room, sir. Kane enters Talkertown before the morning wanes. At the outskirts of the village, he meets a garrulous youth who hails him. Sir, like all honest men, you will be pleased to know that Roger Simeon, the black magician, was hanged this dog just as the sun came up. And was his passing manly? asks Kane somberly. Aye, sir. He flinched not, but a weird deed it was. Look here, sir, Roger Simeon went to the gallows with but one hand to his arms. Indeed, says Cain. Oh, sir, it was grisly to hear him, they say, and to see him crouching over the bloody stump of his arm. And as dawn was grey, they came and took him forth to the gallows, and as they placed the noose about his neck, Sudden he writhed and strained as if with effort, and the muscles in his right hand, which lacked the hand, bulged and creaked as though in mortal combat. As the guard sprang to seize him, he seized and collapsed in defeat. Then the noose broke his neck, and he hung back and silent in the red eye of the rising sun. Major victory. And good riddance. <laughs> we did it. We did it! That was... That was a that was tough. yes. That was tough, especially this very last fight. We were lucky to draw uh, to to explore and have the uh, yeah. the right hand because sometimes it moves uh, in uh, all sorts of directions. So, congratulations, we made it. Yeah, uh, yes, we did. <laughs> and uh, if you haven't seen the other uh, video, of course it's in French. You will see that uh, the story was totally different. Totally different. Well, Antoine, you you played both, didn't you? Yeah, I played both. I was here uh, last week to to play the, the French uh, French version, and uh, yeah. So after having played both uh, sides of this story, uh, well, it's pretty fun to know actually what happened uh, in the in the jail and what the hand actually was. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's a pretty cool pretty cool story. Uh, I think the other one was a bit more uh, easy. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. This one was way more tense, I think. Uh, but it's still really enjoyable, and I'm glad to have played both. Excellent. And one? 
bit of a lack of action, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got some good fights at the end, but like, eh, it could have been more. Still really enjoyable though. I really like the, the whole mystery and the, the following of the hand. Mainly, like, that's mainly fairly unorthodox for such a scenario, I think. And I thought that was really interesting. What about you, Stephanie? I liked a lot the story, because there was a lot of tension during all the game. We, don't, we didn't know if we were going to win or lose. And I think that was really great. What I do like uh, is that it's a very s short story. You should read it. It's only six page, uh, The Right Hand of Doom. And uh, the developers made a really uh, nice and interesting story uh, with a replay value. As, uh, as Antoine said, uh, he played both, so did I. Uh, the story is completely different based on uh, the initial decision you make at the beginning of the chapter. So the replay value is really great and not only can you play like we did uh, cooperatively, but you can also play one versus the others, one playing uh, darkness, or you can play with less than four players and it still works. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll have some other videos uh, for Solomon Kane. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.